Okay, so we have added the text secondary text truncate. Okay, so in the text secondary is not needed here. This normal heading. So what I'll do is wait. This class I'll add it for the category as well. Here I can remove this text secondary. Text secondary means gray color text. That means the category is coming in a gray color, isn't it? And this is black. So for that I am applying the text secondary. The text secondary for the categories only, not for the book title. Okay. Then we have a add to cart button. So again here as well. I'll just uh, apply some color that we used for the sort button there in the header. So BTN theme and some width 100% so that the button will be big. The button is big, isn't it? From end to end it is there. So I'm applying W100. And this BTN theme we have already added in the this thing. So I'll just put it, just copy it and Paste it in our product component. Okay, fine. Now, anything else? Yeah, so we have some classes like book card, card content, product details. These classes we need to apply. Okay, so first thing is book card. So let me push this data below. Yeah. So book card. So card width, I want to give some fixed width. Okay. And maybe some 250 or 280 pf. Then some border. One here. Or with some light color I want to use. Okay. So maybe some FFT that is gray. So maybe some 66. Yeah. FFT 66 is enough. Then background color. So background color also. Same style we'll use. Then some border radius I want to add to make it curved. Maybe 10 feet. Then some margin because we need gap from all sides. So 50 pf, 20 pf. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Then when I okay. Let me put some box shadow as well. I have some shadow effect. So box shadow may be 5 px, 5 px, 5 px, and some gray. And this book card, I'm going to add some hover as well. Book card, when I hover over it, the shadow will change. So, I'll just copy this line. Paste it here and make this 5 pixels 20. Okay, fine. Then we have the, what else we have? We have, after book card, we have this book thumbnail. Okay, so for that book thumbnail, we need to add something because it needs to be curved and all those things. So book thumbnail. So border top left radius is 10 px because what is happening here is we want the curve here and here, not below. Isn't it only under top left and top right? 
not on the bottom part. Bottom part, we don't want to be uh, round. It should be normal. Okay. So that's why I'm applying border top left radius and border top right radius. Okay. Then some fixed width again for the image. So maybe 260 px. Then some height also as well. 335 px. Then cursor pointer. Okay. Then what we have? <clears throat> then we have this card content. So card content means the below part, whatever book details we are showing. So card content. The card content, I'll just add a padding. That's it. Okay, maybe 20 px. Then anything else? BTN theme we have already added. Text trunket, text secondary, these are already there in bootstrap. Okay, fine. So product component is ready. Now this product component, we have to add it in the after the side panel, isn't it? So where was that side panel? We were adding it here, app product. Okay. But uh, let's see one thing here in the TS file of product component, we are having a input property, isn't it? Input property is there. That input property is book. So this book we have to use it. Okay. So in the home component where we were using this thing, app product, here I'll use the property that is book. Book is equal to something, some value. But this in the app product will be repeated for each book, isn't it? So I'll use the ng for to repeat this. So star ng for we have let book of books. Okay, but this books is not there. Why? Because this books we have to what it is called, we have to get it from get all books. That is, we have created the book service, right? Here we have a get all books. Using this get all books, we have to get all the books and store it in this home component books value. Okay, so here we'll have a books value first. So this books value will have all the books so that we can use the ng4 to repeat it. Okay. So let's create the books value. So books property is there, it is any, any array. Oh, I'll just put any, no need to put anything else. Okay. So in the ng on in it, what we need to do? So first we have to import, we have to inject the book service so that we can use the book service. Book service. Okay, book service is imported. Now, in the ng on unit, we can directly use the book service. So, this dot book service dot get all books. This method will be called dot subscribe. What we will do here is I'll put the RDS. So this dot books is equal to RDS. So what will happen? Whatever response we are getting from there, that is the whole books thing. All books will be stored in this book. And uh, this books will be, uh, we will do the ng4 to display the books here. So I think that is enough to display the book. So let's see what is happening. Yeah, uh, not this one. This is the original thing. So our application is here. So it is coming, but the image and all those things are not loading. Why? Let's see that. Why that is happening. So app product, 
here we didn't pass the book okay so book details when i pass it here and save it you can see what happened Pass the book uh, product. Let's do some compile error. So, what will happen here is let it run. Till then, let me explain you. So, I'm passing this book to this book property. Okay. So, in the, inside the app product component, we have a book property. So inside this book property, one object is coming. One single book is coming. This single book will have a book dot title, book dot. Uh, la laptop battery is uh, going to this. Can you please? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Already twenty three minutes are there. No problem. So uh, the book uh, object is passing all this data to the product component. Product uh, product component. Yeah. So this way it should be able to display it. Let's see what is the error. There is no error actually, but we are not getting the books. Okay, let's see why we are not getting. So in the home component, we are writing app product book equal to book and then ng for okay. Let the book of books. Okay. Somewhere maybe I missed something. Okay, maybe it is not getting the books. Let's see that. If I remove this, this whole thing, is it getting loading or loaded or not? Let's see that. Yes, it is loading. So that means the books are not coming from the URL. Okay. So why it is not coming? We have to fix that. So this dot books equal to res. We are getting the book get all books okay fine so are we getting the res so console dot log of res let's see that whether we are getting the books or not so when i see this it is not getting called and the on and it is the book so we got get all books So this is the home component. We're getting the side panel, that is okay. But here we have the product component. The product component is not getting loaded. It's trying to load it, but this thing is not happening. Okay, so this got books, I just got get all books, but subscribe. 
So that all books. Okay. One more. Console dot log. Hi. It is getting the high. That means that is okay. So, so there is something wrong with the API call. That means this book service dot get all books. So this dot HTTP dot get is uh, this. this. Okay, return book. Local of three thousand slash books. This dot base URL dot five max. This dot book primitive. Okay, everything is fine. Sir, do we need to subscribe? Uh... Yes, we have subscribed it there in the component. So the API call is not getting called. Okay. So let me see. This is get all books. Okay. So the home component is the book service. Four slash books dot service. Okay. This mm, dot book service dot get all books dot subscribe. We only need to see it. So get all books is not getting called. Why? Get all books. Did I run the server? It is already running. Ah. Maybe it was stopped. Yeah. Now let's see. Yeah, now it is coming. Okay. All the books are coming. The JSON server, sometimes it gets stopped. So it was not loading. Okay. So this is how the books are getting loaded. Add to card button is there. Categories are there. And the book name is there. Okay. So we'll stop here for today. We'll see the other things. What happens when we click on add to cart? We'll do that tomorrow. Okay. The cart part and all those things. We'll see those things tomorrow. So up to here, we have seen how to display the books from uh, using that service using JSON file. Okay. Okay. Then. Can you please share that uh, db.json file? Sir? Yes, yes, Is yes. I'll share it. Uh, uh, not now. After some time, I'll share it. Okay. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay.